So we have an equation, it says ax plus 3x is equal to bx plus 5. And what I want to do together is to solve for x. And if we solve for x, it's going to be in terms of a, b, and other numbers. So pause the video and see if you can do that. All right, now let's, let's do this together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to group all of the x terms. Let's group all the x terms on the left-hand side. So I already have ax and 3x on the left-hand side. Let's get bx onto the left-hand side as well. And I can do that by subtracting bx from both sides. And if I subtract bx from both sides, I am going to get, I am going to get on the right hand side, I'm going to have a or on the left hand side on ax plus 3x minus bx. So I could do that in that color for fun. Minus bx. And that's going to be equal to. Well, bx minus bx is just zero, and I have five. It is equal to five. And now what I can do is I can factor an x out of this left-hand side of this equation, out of all of the terms. So I can rewrite this as x times, well, ax divided by x is a, 3x divided by x is three, and then negative bx divided by x is just going to be negative b. I could keep writing it in that pink color. And that's all going to be equal to five. And now to solve for x, I can just divide both sides by what the thing that's mul being, that x is being multiplied by, by a plus three minus b. So I can divide both sides by a plus three minus b. a plus three minus b. On this side, they cancel out. And I have x is equal to five over a plus three minus b, and we are done. Let's do one more of these. So another equation, here we have a, here we have a times the quantity five minus x is equal to bx minus eight. So once again, pause the video and see if you can solve for x. Well, the way I like to approach these is, let's just expand everything all out. So let me just distribute this a, and then I'm going to collect all the x terms on one side and all of the non-x terms on the other side, and essentially do what I just did in the, in the last example. So let's first distribute this a. So the left-hand side becomes 5a, I could say a times 5, or 5a, minus ax. ax, that is going to be equal to bx minus 8. Now we can subtract bx from both sides. So we're going to subtract bx from the left-hand side, bx from the right-hand side. And once again, the whole reason I'm doing that, I want all of the x terms on the left and all the non-x terms on the right. And actually, since I want, I want all the non-x terms on the right, I can actually subtract 5a from both sides as well. So I'm kind of doing two steps at once here, but hopefully it makes sense. I'm trying to get rid of the bx here, and I'm trying to get rid of the 5a here. So I subtract 5a there, and I'll subtract 5a there. And then let's see what this gives us. So the five a's cancel out. And on the left-hand side, I have negative ax, negative ax minus bx. Minus, I'm using that same green color, minus bx. And on the right-hand side, I have, this is going to be equal to, the bx's cancel out. And I have negative eight minus five a, negative eight minus, do that same magenta color, minus 5a. And let's see, both, I, I've now separ I have all my x's on one side, all my non-x's on the other side. And here I can factor out an x. And if I factor out an x, what do I have? And actually, one thing that might be nice, let me just multiply both sides by negative one. If I multiply both sides by negative one, I get ax plus bx plus bx is equal to eight plus five a. That just gets rid of all of those negative signs. And now I can factor out an x here. So let me factor out an x, and I get x times a plus b. A plus b is going to be equal to eight plus five a. Eight plus 5a, and we're in the home stretch now. We can just divide both sides by a plus b. So we can divide both sides by a plus b, a plus b. And we're going to be left with x is equal to 
eight plus five a plus five a over over actually I'll write a and b in our original colors a plus so this was that a and that a plus b so this is the b that's the same b a plus b and we're done we have now solved for x in terms of some in terms of a's and b's and other things and we are all done